Oh, that song never gets old. Ready for some quiplash? Me too. I don't suppose one of you has a spare graphing calculator, do you? No? Oh well. I'll score the game by hand, I guess. Remember that your entourage and hangers-on can play along by joining the audience. Audience votes count. Time for round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Running out, think fast or use a safety clip. <laughs> Cards on the table. First off, the name of a clothing store for jockeys. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Your next prompt is the task that Satan's intern hates most. Vote on your devices. Next prompt, what a turtle looks for in a mate. Float away. Moving on, a new slogan for the Greyhound Bus Company. Vote now!
Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and I'm hosting this game on a dare. Good-looking group, judging by your names, anyway. <laughs> Round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Let's see how you did. Prompt number one is... The most inappropriate place to have a mechanical bowl. Okay, choose your favorite. Next in the hopper, a sign that your dog is an idiot. It's voting time. Next on deck, an odd sequel to the children's book, The Giving Tree. Okay, vote. Next one, a sign you got a bad nose job. Ready, set, vote! Next in line, Alfred may know Batman's secret identity, but the biggest secret he keeps is blank. And vote. Next, you know you found your soulmate when you look them in the eye and they say blank. Put in your votes. Thing nobody knows about the Easter Bunny. Get to voting. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. All oh, the drama.
safety equipment if you can't think of anything. These better be good. First one, the name of a disease that makes you look like a minion. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. on the list. The worst interrogation would have a good cop, a bad cop, and a blank cop. Time to vote. Okay, next one. What the 13th month would be called. And vote. Why did Jack and Jill go up to Canada? Put in your votes. Moving on. A bad thing for a TV meteorologist to say during a tornado warning. Get to voting! up, a super elite underground club at Yale that nobody knows about. It's voting time! Coming up next, a great pickup line to use in a retirement home. Vote now! Round two is now complete. Let's see where we landed. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. the phrase this acronym stands for.
Okay, here we go. Decide who gets a medal. Let's see where those medals went. Bronze. Bring out the silver. And gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. It's over. Let's see the final scores.
Come on, wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night! A phantasm of mind-rending challenges! And well, I guess I'll just shut up then! Hey, I'm so sorry to bother you. It's important to get it. Ugh. Impatient jerk! Okay, first question. If I was thinking about getting a leather mask, who should I see? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Hurry up, it's not Sophie's choice, unless your name is Sophie, which it probably isn't. Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have to add a few of my own. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I'm pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Yeah. Tasty! Now let's see what everyone drank. Boom goes the poison! Ugh, I've really got to work on that catchphrase. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Death is not the end. And here's your score so far. I've been calculating all this in my head, so I hope it's right. Let's try another one. What is Chris Farley's last credited film? said, this one. The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best dessert? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. You can do it. One of these answers was written by someone who deserves punishment. Voting is not just a right. It's a privilege. are in. Maybe your writing will be better appreciated after you're dead. Which looks like it's gonna be really, really soon. Here's where everybody's at right now. How about this? What classic NES video game features a big boss called Mother Brain? Time 
Let's try now. <laughs> Who said this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. This is actually how William S. Burroughs wrote some of his stories, but I guess that's not really important right now. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Spell words now. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! <laughs> Let's see what you came up with. Let's see if anyone beat you! Here's a synonym for second place. Death. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. They ganged up on you for kind of no reason. They didn't even have to. They're kind of mean, right? Let's try this again. Who's on first and what's on second? But tell me the name of the third baseman. Nothing says, yep, you're probably gonna die, than taking a spin at the loser wheel. Go ahead and spin it! Spin, spin, spin! You know, the wheel was humanity's greatest invention. Just saying. Alright, next question. What color are Adam Levine's eyes? for some number fun. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst, dies. Let's go. Math, 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 math. Wow, this is just like watching a beautiful mind. Your time is subtracting at an alarming rate. This will hurt. I hope you haunted elementary school so maybe you can learn something. I think this game's pretty sweet so far. Ah, I said sweet out loud. Now teens know that I'm not cool. Next question. Which chain restaurant increased sales by 33% after it was mentioned in the Beyonce song Formation?
And the correct answer is... This one. I want to show you something. Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If anybody does better than you, you will be much worse off. Because you'll be dead. Was that clear? If you don't hit set right now, all your memorizing will be for naught. And voila! Look familiar? How much of it did you remember? You got it exactly right! Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. Alright, next question. What word is the present participle in this? Your murderer is burying you up to your neck at the shoreline. And the correct answer is... This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm. Too easy. Here's another one. How long is a year on Mars? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. Isn't it about time for some fighting? You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Make your choices, but remember, cheaters never win. Uh, the whole point of a life or death decision is that you have to decide something. You did nothing. That just won't do. Check out a full breakdown of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Also, my charcoal sketches. They're, uh, pretty terrifying. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Types of cheese. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Anytime today, kiddo. Here's another one. African deserts.
Decisions, decisions. Uh oh, that ghost is gonna get ya. Can you stay out of the shadows? Birthstones. It's almost up. No fair. You killed your friend. Better get away fast. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. I was helping someone load his van. He threw me in, now here I am. Cold and afraid Where a dead 
deadly trivia game is played. 